Oh, yeah. Well, you can learn a lot yeah. out here. If you lived in town, then you would learn all the things that you learn out here in the building. We like it. Yeah. Well, I wanted to ask you about one other thing okay. before we wear you out. Yes. Tina told me that you are skilled at water witching, at dousing. I wonder if you could tell us what that is. Have any of you yes. heard of that well, before? Have you heard of dousing or water witching? You know? Well, you know, they say like. Um, you should get something like a willow or something like that that grows near water. With something mm -hmm. grows that needs a lot of water. And you find in that bush or tree, you find something that forks and goes down. Branch. You know, here's a, a bigger, thicker branch that goes out like that or something. And cut that off the tree. <coughs> and, uh, okay, so here, here's going out like that. And you cut th these ends off straight because you've got to put your fingers in the end. Uh -huh. And then the other single end that goes out, you cut that at an angle so that it's toward the ground. And then you, you uh, I kind of meditate on a little bit. Then you put your fingers on there, see, and you walk the line. Okay. Here's the cut. And he's down. Your fingers are on this cut in. And you're walking along. And you walk across. You go up and down the hill. And once you go across, because the springs are going to be coming down, you know, you So if you're walking across, the springs are coming down. And when you get to where the spring is, this stick that is cut off wants to get back to water so bad that it pulls down. It can just pull you down. Just pull you down then because it wants to be where the water is. And then you can follow it up and down with your stick of whatever. And let's see, to find out how deep it is, I uh, you I have to know in my head what like twelve inches, one foot, you know what one foot is, I guess not and I have to have that kind of thing in my mind for something to be marked on me with that one foot. Because then I've got my hands here, the cut is down, I'm holding this, and I'm walking across the land, and that will, when I cross the spring that's under the ground, that will just pull me down, pull me down, I can't hold it back, it pulls, it pulls down hard. It's, you wouldn't believe it, much did it. And then you <coughs> you can follow that spring or just go to that very spot and then get find out how deep it is. You know, if you're counting down feet, and then find out how much water is in that spot. That's all there is to it. Wow, thank you. You're welcome. Wonderful. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it in a class. Yeah, we have willows right out here. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you could do. Uh, you could go across <clears> the field, and well, okay, I and mean, the kids could do it too. And and you, that would be three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine kids could become dowsers at an early age and practice right here in Santa Cruz. You know, you can get famous for it, make a living in it. So, you know. That would be there. great. Yeah. Well, okay. thank you, Lois. You're welcome. Does anybody else have questions or something to tell Lois? No? Then I'd like to say thank you. You're welcome. And My pleasure. I hope to see you again. Yeah.